Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe here. Today we're gonna look at the Basius dock. This is actually a Steam Deck dock, but I was asked, does it work as a Dex dock, a Samsung Dex dock for Samsung Galaxy phones? A lot of people don't even know your phone has a external display operating system. So I figured we would see if it works and show off Samsung Dex a little bit for those who haven't seen it. So once you plug in and the magic starts happening, the keyboard fired up, the mouse fired up, and we switch to an external display so you can see exactly what it is that I'm seeing on my monitor. There it is. Looks a lot like Windows or any other uh, front end for an operating system. So here you have it. I mean, you have access to your whole phone, but in a slightly different manner, more of an operating system manner. You can run multiple apps. Everything sort of works like Windows. So you can imagine if you are... Uh, traveling, and you just need a PC to get a little bit of work done, right? You got your phone, but come on, there's some work that just works better on a PC. So you can literally just plug this guy right into your television in your hotel suite and start working on it. So we'll open up a couple of apps here. What's really cool is, is it works both as a um, as in a phone mode, right? But it'll also flip over to tablet mode. See how um, the file manager here actually uses more of a tablet layout versus a uh, phone layout. And so that's one of the cool things about Dex is it sort of can run your apps in both standard phone mode as well as in tablet mode. That's a really big sales point because there's a lot of great apps out there that truly work better in uh, a landscape or a larger mode. This is a great example, your web browser. This is the Brave browser, only it's the mobile phone version of it, but when you have it open full screen running on Dex, it looks fantastic. You can do things like change the opacity of the windows, pin the windows so that they always stay in front of other windows, stuff that you would expect in an operating system, but it's kind of worth noting here that you have these features available. It's really neat stuff. I mean, a lot of people don't even know that Dex exists, and I think that's Samsung's fault for not better uh, promoting it. You have access to everything on your phone, even your phone's settings. You can take screenshots of your phone, all sorts of good stuff. The only thing you can't really do is record it, but now that I'm outputting it through my Elgato, of course I can record it, which is what you're seeing here. But uh, you can't just hit a button and just start recording the screen, but I'm, I'm guessing there could be an app for it. I've just never looked. But you can see I've got five apps open at a time. Here comes our screen capture, boom. And that's sitting in my gallery. So as soon as I disconnect, I can open up my phone and that picture is available. So I can upload it to, you know, Imager or whatever. So this is great. Now you notice more than five apps on the screen at the same time, there's a limit, right? That's sort of one of the weird things about Dex. You can only have five, but it'll keep the other one running, but it just minimizes it. So you can only have five open at a time. It doesn't mean that you can't have more than five apps open, just only five apps on the screen visible at one time. And I'm hearing YouTube music just monkeying around because maybe you've never seen YouTube music acting as a tablet application versus a phone application. There's a ton of Android apps that look and work so much better when they're in a tablet layout. And this is uh, this is one of them. Of course, no passenger seat radio on YouTube podcast yet. I guess I'm going to have to fix that. It's my little side gig, my passenger seat radio episode. Been, been going on for um, almost 20 years, 20 years of a podcast. Who's got that sort of credentials, huh? Anyway, you can see it, it works great. I mean, this literally is a windowing type operating system. You got access even to this weird stuff. I mean, look at this. You can even enable and disable features. So it's sort of like your window shade, right? You can pull down your window shade. It it neatly puts them in as like a sys tray. It's fantastic. It's really a neat tool uh, if you need it, right? Most people probably don't need this, but if you're a constant traveler and you're dragging a laptop around to do, I don't know, certain types of work, you may be able to replace it with Samsung DeX. And again, normally you have to pay decent money for a Samsung DeX dock. I mean, Samsung will sell you one for like 80 bucks. But if you're looking at, say, uh, a Basius dock that we're using here, why, you know, that's like uh, half the price or less. Not all Steam Deck docks for Samsung DeX. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. But the Basius here absolutely does. And then when you're done, you're done with the PC part of it, all you have to do is unplug it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, your phone's back. Uh, it's great. All right, well, listen, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. We'll see you next time. Take care.